Today, the 9th of May 2025, we are currently at a Pamkane crushing facility. Behind me, you are going to see this is a very big facility that is still currently being set up. It is not yet in operation. They are gathering the materials. A lot of things are already on ground. And we have a great consultant that have already been in the game. He's heading to set up this facility. So, sir, please, may we know you. What's your name, sir? Okay. My name is Chino Nyerem Uchela. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we already heard that we are part of the consultory team in this uh, facility. So, uh, can you tell us your little experience in this uh, kind of setup? Oh, okay. You're most welcome. This is a, a palm kernel processing factory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me take you around so that uh, it's a... Uh, this is a toasting machine. This is a 10 ton toasting machine. So you toast kernel here. You transfer it to. Okay, this is a toasting 10 tons. Okay. This is equally a, a, a 10 ton toasting machine. We have it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you toast from this point, when you toast from this point, you transfer to the crushing machine down okay. here. So the, how do you transport it here? Manually, you transport okay. manually. The proximity is, is very close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You transport from you transport to this place. This is the crushing machine mm. itself. Mm -hmm. You pour the kernels here. It crushes. The oil will be dripping from this point, from this point mm -hmm. to here. This is the channel by which it goes to the tank, the storage tank down there. Okay. This is the storage tank. It's still ongoing. When it starts from this point, it goes to the filter. This is the filtering machine. This is the filtering machine. It filters the product. Mm -hmm. From the product, uh, from the filtering machine then, it goes to the final, the tank, storage tank, down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the whole production process. That is whole of production how process. it moves from the, uh, the, toast, the, toaster, the toaster to the crushing, to the crushing area, then to the filter. filter. And then you take it out. Take, to, take it out to the... Okay. Now, this toaster, mm -hmm. let me ask. Since toasting, I believe it's all about power and energy. How do you generate energy for the toaster? Okay. That's fine. We have uh, we have uh, it's two two ways. The generator we have a generator set that powers here, and equally a, a manual a, 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 a firewood. We use firewood or palm canal shell to set up the heat that heats up the the toaster. The essence of heating the toaster is to dry up the water in the canal to give you the maximum yield you are looking for. Once the, 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 the maximum yield is given, you go ahead and crush. You go ahead and crush. Okay, so when you, you mentioned it's a 10 ton cost, uh, toaster. Yes. What is the average time span to toast the 10 ton? How, like, how long are we looking at? Like one hour, two hours? No, three, four hours. Okay, three, four for hours. For you to get a maximum yield, mm -hmm. three, four hours. Why sourcing for a palm kernel that you toast, since palm kernel is the raw material for this thing? Okay. Do you select? Is there any characteristic you have to check and say, okay, no, I won't buy this one or I'll buy this one? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Over time, we have a mixture of palm kernel, real kernel, and shell. So obviously, you must have to select the, the, the palm kernel itself and weave out the shell. Otherwise, it affects the basket, the machines down there. Mm. It affects the machine. Mm. This is the basket I'm talking about. This is the basket. Mm -hmm. It affects the crushing. Once you have shell, plenty of shell in the kernel, it affects the basket. And once it's affected the basket, it will not give you the maximum profit you are looking for. Yes. Mm -hmm. It will be half done. So it's a whole lot better you have a shell-free kernel for it to give you a maximum uh, yield. We are looking for. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So when we finish, uh, when the toasting is done, mm -hmm. the palm kernel is now going to be moved to this crushing. To this point. Yeah. Now, when it comes to this point, mm -hmm. uh, how many times do you crush? Is it once, twice, thrice? No, as many, once the engine starts, maximum of eight hours. 
No, I mean when you bring the pumpkin, after crushing it and the residue come out, do you still bring it back to recrush it probably to no, bring no, it more oil? No, bring no, no, out no, more we don't, oil? we don't recrush. Okay. Yeah, it's first crush, that's Ju all. Okay, just first crush. First crush, yeah. Okay, mm. and the output is actually uh, all right. If Because I think we have seen some facilities where they say we'll do the first crushing. Yeah, we'll do some crushing. will do first crushing mm -hmm. and second crushing. But here we do first crushing. Okay, just first question. Yeah, first question, yeah. Mm. All right. Now, when, after getting the uh, palm kernel, or while this machine is on, in operation, sometimes I believe that it's man-made, it might have issues. Yes. How do you resolve it? Oh, we call the, the, the fabricators. We call the fabricators to come and resolve the issue. Mm -hmm. Basically, the only challenge we have is the basket. Because of the enormous work of this basket, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is where the crushing takes place. Yes. Because of the enormous work, so we always service the basket, which requires us calling the fabricators to come and uh, help us to do the fabric, uh, service the basket. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have made a, a, a case about the uh, imported expeller machines. Mm. And also now this is the local one. Have you had uh, any experience with the imported one? Do you see any difference with that and the local one? The difference is not just much, considering the cost. At the moment, mm -hmm. uh, uh, imported machine is close to 35 million naira. Wow. So that is the price. So if you don't have the, the, the muscle, why will you wait for you to gather 20, 35 million naira to go and buy one machine when you can use that one to buy two and start? Yes, 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 yes. yes. So obviously, we go for this, considering cost. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll go for this, considering cost. Okay. Now, uh, like we said earlier, you are in this role as in an advisory role. You already have your own facility. Mm. Now, I want to ask, what are the challenges of running this kind of facility? You must have had, you already have it. What are the challenges when you are running every business? Electricity. Okay. Electricity. Energy is the greatest challenge we're having. For you to cross a 10-ton uh, uh, canal, you must have spent a lot. If you are running on, running on diesel, you use diesel to toast the canal. You use diesel to crush the canal. Wow. It's a whole lot. Okay. It is a whole lot. So energy is the greatest challenge we are having. Mm -hmm. Is there any other challenge aside from energy? Source material, raw material. It's not in the shelf. You don't just go to any place to go and buy canal. Mm. You start for raw materials. So it's challenging. Okay. That energy we use in uh, uh, sourcing for material one day, two days, before you know it could take in a week to get uh, raw materials. So it's a challenge okay. for okay. us. Okay, now, uh, before you entered into this business yourself, mm -hmm. you must have done due consultation, you must have met other people that sure. are this thing. What encouraged you to come into this business? The business is good. But then, the challenge, the, 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 the yes, it's good. I must say it, it's good. Uh, uh, so many things, uh, 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 yes, I, I have, I love that as a passion anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have passion for that. So that's what led me. Not necessarily money. Not necessarily money. Led me to, into this. Uh, sir, what is the average cost of starting this kind of facility if someone wants to go into it? Okay. For one to go into this, at least statutorily, you must have three machines. The toaster, the crusher, which is this, then the filter. These are the three statutory machines you must have for you to start minimally, minimally, emphasis, minimally. But the challenge we have is that this is a, a crusher. This is the engine. This is the engine that powers this. Without this engine, this one would not turn. So, but we have an alternative, which is electric motor. But then, where is the light? If you have light, we will not go for this. 
who only use electric motor to power the power digs. But in absence of digs, we, we have to go rush on digs. So that's the challenge we are having. So if someone wants to connect to uh, just go to the high tension and take light, would this be able to carry it? It will carry it. You must have, you must, you must have a, 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 a direct line that will help you to turn, a, turn this azo. This is the azo. That will turn this. It will be difficult. It will be difficult. And this has also now increased the overhead cost. The overhead cost. Of setting it of up. Setting up. Because apart from uh, buying these machines, if you're having this kind of facility, you are now talking about getting your own direct line. Direct which line. comes cost a lot. So if you don't have direct line, you fall back on, 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 on the, this machine. Mm. But getting a direct line is even more costlier than even getting this. Yes. For you to have a smaller transformer, they will telling you about 12, 13 million naira. 12, 13 million 12, 13 million naira. 12, so for you to set up this, this one minimal factory, you're looking at 45, 50 million naira. Uh, 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 excluding the raw material. Though. Excluding the raw materials. Do you have a, a rough idea of maybe how much the pumpkin is currently going? Do you have an idea? Maybe currently, they are selling 720 per but, ton. Per ton. Per ton. So if you are bringing in 10 tons here to toast. That is 7.2. That's 7.2. By two. <laughs> By two. By two. <laughs> that's that's a 14.4. That is it. <laughs> that's that is it. It's sure that this is not a, this is not a game for the week. No, no, no. It's not a game for you the week. You have to be very fast. You must have to be calculative and you must have to be on ground. Yes. Mm, uh, but then, it is, it is what you give in that will produce the result. Mm. You can't give one ton and expect 10 tons. Yes. If you give 10 tons, you know what you are expecting. So the, it's given already. Do you, do you have an idea the, 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 the number of tons of pamkane oil that you get from one ton, or how many tons will give one ton of pamkane oil? Do you have an idea? Uh, it depends on it depends on the canal. It solely depends on the canal. Most times you see them suppliers missing shell with canal. So obviously, once you miss shell with uh, with canal, it retards the oil. You know, you know, you will not be there anymore. Yeah. So obviously, but if you have a good kernel, three tons is expected to give you one ton. Three tons of, of palm kernel. On average, on average giving you one ton, one ton of, of palm kernel oil. oil. And do you have the idea of the current cost of palm kernel oil a ton now? Uh, it fluctuates. Okay. It fluctuates. It goes up in the morning, in the evening, they will tell you a different price. Uh. So it uh, said 2.2 million, okay, 2.4 million naira down the line. Okay, around 2.4 million around naira. Around 2.4 million naira. In, in conclusion, after producing your pamkane oil and your pamkane cake, I believe uh, possibly there might also be, also be sludge. How do you dispose them? How, oh, how are, they, are they customers? The market is overwhelming. You won't even move an inch. They will come here and pick. They will come here and pick? They will come here and pick. They are byproducts in this. The sludge, the cake. Then the oil is the main thing anyway. The sludge and the cake, you see the poultry farmers, piggery farmers rushing down, if you pay you in advance to come and pick. So it's a good business, but it's capital intensive. It is very, very capital intensive. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. As you can see, he has given us the rundown of setting up this kind of facility. This is a Pamkane crushing facility that is just being started up at a Uzuakole in Bende local government area of Fabia State. So Oga has given us a very good understanding of this. In case you have something, you want to do something like this, like he said, you should have a minimum of 25 million. If not, <laughs> you might start and you will not be able to finish. Sure. So thank you very much sir, for your time. You are eh? most welcome. Thank you, sir. Mm.